The footage in this video is transformative and is protected under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976 for purposes of criticism, comments or news reporting. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Now, I just heard some really crazy news. I got a few comments in my last video. The chairman of Channel 7, you know, the Sunday night program who done that hit piece, the most disgraceful bias hit piece against veganism I have literally ever seen. This whole time the media have been coming at me, coming at veganism in the UK. It's been crazy. This was by far the worst. And it was almost like in my last video where I called the producer and I was like, is this conspiratorial? Like, is this industry bias? Is there money involved with this? Like, you gotta be careful. It looks like you just, there's some money involved under the table or something. I mean, that's conspiratorial as well, but no, it wasn't. They're clearly obviously is. Now, the producer didn't even write this story or oversee its edit, which is really strange, she said. Like, like that was her, her words, her words. So who wrote the story? Who oversaw the edit? Who was involved in this story? Now, it turns out, right, it turns out that the chairman of Channel 7 is this guy, Kerry Stokes. Kerry Stokes. Australian businessman holds interest in a diverse range of industries, including electronic, print media, property, mining, construction equip equipment. He's also known as the chairman of Channel 7 Network. What else is he involved in? What else is he involved in? Let's have a look here. He's, whoa, he's 3.3 billion net worth USD. So that's, I don't know what's that, four or five billion dollars um, Australian. He's worth a lot of money, this guy. Oh, here he is here. Here he is here, Kerry Stokes owns 1 million hectares of land. Wow, Seven Networks Chairman Kerry Stokes is passionate about the agricultural industry, as well as the media. Wow, that's not a bias, so he's, he's, he's passionate about agricultural industry, as well as the media. He's literally the chairman of Channel 7, so he controls media out of that channel at least, minimum. The Australian TV boss currently owns around 1 million hectares of farmland. Wow, isn't this all coming out? Wow, isn't this, isn't this interesting? In Western and South Australia, as well as Northern Territory, equivalent to more than the entire Greater Melbourne area, he owns a million hectares of land. Wow, what's this big vision for the red dust country? Look at this. Look at his powers here. Look at his powers. They all look like farmers. Does this look like someone who's going to be friendly with vegans? Obviously not. Not with the vegan message anyway, especially when he has vested interest. Millions, tens and tens of millions of dollars invested in agriculture. Let's have a look through here. Looking across the Napier Down Station and the King Leopard Ranges in the distance, Kerry Stokes shares a vision for the Kimberley that is as clear as the crack of a stock whip. A stock whip. To whip stock. A sheep or cattle farmer. Okay, standing alongside him, a born and bred pastoralist, someone who owns sheep or cattle. Ah, oh, so his mates are all sheep and cattle farmers. Peter Murray. Mr. Stokes is convinced that the northern cattle industry is about to take off. When was this written? Is about to take off. This is 13th of September 2015. You know what else took off around that time? Veganism. <laughs> Veganism did. He probably wasn't happy about that since he had such a large investment in beef. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look how large his investments were. In the north of Australia, not just WA, but through the Northern Territory, Queensland and WA, there's an economic zone that has the, the at last has the potential to be realized. Wow, he's realizing some potential for some cattle farm here. There's a demand for the produce. Wow. There's a demand for the produce and an ever-growing demand for the quality. Vegans hurt the demand of beef, don't they? So it's kind of making sense now, this crazy media bias story coming out of this guy's the chairman of that, that media company. Now, now, it's not even a conspiracy. This is just follow the money. Follow the money. Isn't that statement true? Oh, my God. This is crazy, guys. I can't believe this. Hey, we offer the mo world's most incredible free-range, drug-free, insecticide-free product. Nothing but pure beef. And no one else is capable of that. This is in quotes. This is Mr. Stokes talking. Offering beef. He's a beef farmer. Mr. Stokes said the key to unlocking the potential included better use of water, applying its latest in soil and plant science, land tenor reform, and a lot of hard work. A lot of hard bias. A lot of hard work. 
you know, sending your minions to discredit veganism in your crazy bias attack piece against veganism. Obvious vested interest. Obviously. Follow the money. Kerry Stokes. Crazy. It's all coming together now, hey. It's all coming together. Mr. Stokes and Pete Murray own farms on Kangaroo Island and one on South Australia's mainland carrying about 7,000 cattle and 24,000 sheep. Well, that whole, that, you know, this, this makes start to make a lot of sense, that hit piece against veganism. Here we go. Kerry Stokes builds his cattle empire in Western Australia's far north. Wow. Seven group holdings, which is Channel 7. Owner, Kerry Stokes, he owns seven group holdings. The owner, chairman. Wow. Is set to increase the size of his privately owned cattle empire in Western Australia's Kimberley region to more than 1 million hectares in a deal involving cash-strapped Aboriginal corporations. So he's bought all this land off Aboriginal corporation for cattle. For cattle stations. Cattle stations. Are you seeing this, guys? Are you, are you seeing this with me? This is absolutely... Look at this. Look at this. Billionaire tycoons. Billionaire cattle tycoons who own media. And you're telling me you're going to get unbiased information from the media? This is this is absolutely crazy. I can't believe it. Oh, well, you know what? I can't believe it. But it's just... I, I didn't think it was going to be this obvious. He's He owns so much land and so much cattle... Look at this, Kerry Stokes seeks beef steak with Kimberley Station sublease plan. He now controls more than 4,000 head of cattle in South Australia. That's, that's just in South Australia, that's not including everywhere Where else. Has an incredible rags to riches story and today he is Australia's 12th richest person. Billionaire and he runs media, he runs what you think. He controls what you think. Okay, one man. You, you think that he doesn't have control over his whole media empire? This one guy? Over the whole seven network? Of course he does. You're, he's the boss. This guy is the boss. He's a. Y, 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 do, you, do you see what I'm saying? Oh, and you, look what else he owns. Him and his mate Andrew Forrest and Kerry Stokes enter in a honey business. For two of Australia's richest men, the newest business catchphrase appears to be show me the honey. Vegans don't eat honey. Veganism hurts the honey industry as well. Another bias. See, his mates are all beef holders. Billionaires Andrew Forrest and Kerry Stokes already have competing business interests interest in beef and resources. Wow, beef, which takes up most of the resources, to be honest. Very interesting. Honey. Veganism, not good for honey. And it was interesting how, like, they talked about wool in the show. They talked about beef. You can't have woolen clothing because wool is from sheep. There's no silk from a silkworm, no honey from a bee. Kerry Stokes sold his Kangaroo Island aggregation. $50 million he got for it. $50 million on it for his farm. The offering of Signet Park Farms through Elders Real Estate includes a herd of about 3.3 thousand cattle and 15.7 thousand sheep. Crazy. How's this for bias, eh? And I also got information that there was a pork ad running between both commercials. Okay, a pork ad. Um, the whole show was a pork ad. And, you know, Kerry, if you're watching this, I doubt you will, but if you are, you got to get into the plant-based products. Vegans are not your enemies. I know you might feel attacked by our vegans. We just want to see a more peaceful world, a, a more environmentally sustainable world. There's a lot of money in plant-based alternatives. Beyond Meat, they're cranking it with the plant-based meat. Put, put your investment into some plant-based alternatives that are better for the animals in the environment. We're not your enemies. Okay, let's work together. Let's invest some of those billions of dollars into plant-based products. We're not going away. We're not going away, so we might as well learn to get along. But that hit piece against vegans makes Channel 7 look ridiculous. It makes your media look biased. It just You're losing credibility. You're losing credibility. People are going to see straight through that crap. And if you can't and you're watching this video, this is the type of bias we're talking about. This is the type of bias we're talking about. If you look at the dislike ratio on that video, the dislike ratio just shows that people can see the insane bias nonsense. And, you know, if you, if you want to do it like a little bit, you know, bias in a way, that's fine. But, like, at least let us counter some of that crap. At least try some fair and honest reporting. Another thing. This was crazy. At the end of the segment, I didn't know about this, the presenter talks about, ooh, eating steak. Now, who told her to say that? 
I have to admit that I'm still finding hard to say no to good old barbecued steak. I'm still finding hard to say no to good old barbecued steak. Who told the presenter to say that? Kerry Stokes? Kerry Stokes? I mean, this is just crazy. If you guys, right, had any doubt, I hope this this completely eradicates any doubt of this crazy bias. This isn't a conspiracy. Just follow the money. This guy, Kerry Stokes, who runs Channel 7, who did a hit piece attack against vegans, um, is a cattle farmer, beast producer. He has, you know, pigs and sheep and a honey business. Vested interest. There you go. Five seconds, there was one picture of some pigs, and that was it. It was completely biased. Yeah, so, you know, we're going to do our own media in response to it, but it's absolutely ridiculous garbage, and...